welcome to another episode of the program, The Moment of El Dorado. I am Chi Chi, and today, of course, it's going to be very exciting as usual. We are going to bring in you an event that took place somewhere in the world. And on top of it, we are also going to give you some tips on fashion. Yes, that is what this program is going to consist of today. Well, of course, on today's event, we are taking you to the city of Wari Delta State of Nigeria, where the Eagle Heights International School, one of the foremost institutions in Nigeria, recently held a talent hunt competition. Like they say, it's not all about your talent, but it is what you do with your talent that matters. And that is what makes you skillful. And that is what takes you to the next level. And in order to nurture the children and to help the talents to become skills, the Eagle Heights put together a wonderful talent hunt competition that brought a winner to the fore. Watch this. Understand your child, draw them close, nurture them, and help them bring out the best within. The effort of parents towards this was clearly defined in their kids as the Ego High International School provided a platform for their pupils and students to wow their parents and a large audience as they put out there that which God has deposited in them with a talent show tag, AI's Go Talent. Our leaders have come with different talents. In singing, in dancing, in instrumentalizing, play the instruments, and there are several others, several other talents that are inherent in them. We are going to discover them today. And then we are going to help them to develop it so that these talents will not only be in their fruit form, but we are going to refine it for them. Every man has one, one talent. So even that one you have, we want to bring it out on the children. So while they are in the society after their social institution, they are balanced. So I am here with my certificates and as I'm here, AI has trained me on how to use my talent to make money. So I am singing, I am a medical doctor. I can be an actress, I am also a professional nurse. I am doing this, I am doing that. So you have two, the talent and the educational qualification. There were various categories in display or contesting for the grand prize. The prizes ranged from third position 10,000 to second position 15,000 and the first position which goes with 20,000 in all categories. The categories include singing, <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> 
Instrumentation had several audition in why some of the kids were selected for the grand finale. Amongst the finalists contesting for the first position in singing categories are Anita Magnus Ogun, Ayodeta Orisha Jaffo, Awariwo Ojo and others. <laughs> dance category, the show had Nicole, Anaya, Cheryl, amongst others, contesting for the grand prize for ballet and break dance.
The instrumentation category had Master Caleb Magnus Ogun, David Ileleji, Udwak Omokagbo, and others. <laughs> of the event was the pronunciation of the winners in various categories. The next person here is Eleni David. He came out second with Eze Bo. Eze Bo. Eleni David. Eze Bo. The first position goes to the other person. For singing category, Betty Joseph came out second runner-up, Miss Anita Magnus Ogun came out the first runner-up, while Miss Awariwo came out the winner of the grand prize. For instrumentation, Uduak Omokabo came out second runner-up, while Master David Ileleji came out first runner-up, and Master Caleb Magnus won the instrument category, going home with the grand prize of 20,000 naira. The dancing category saw Nicole as a winner of the grand prize, while Cheryl Ileleji as second runner-up, going home with a sum of 10,000 naira, while Anaya Temile emerged first runner-up. Excitement filled the air as some of the parents, teachers, contestants, and the chairman planning committee expressed it in words speaking with the ABN crew. <laughs> The dream behind AI's Got Talent is to make the world at large know that Eagle Heights International Schools 
is one of the best schools around the world and uh, we want to let them know that outside academics we also have the, the ability to showcase our talent, to teach them morally and also to show their skills. Parents out there, um, don't confine your child. Once your child has a talent, make sure you, um, you, you invest on the talent of your child because that might just make a very big way for that child in the future. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. My name is Mr. Wisdom Ilelegi, the father of uh, Cheryl and David Ilelegi. Wow, and guess what they did so amazing here today. What's that thing that gave you that passion and drive to see your children want to give out this, not just the educational aspect? Yeah, it's a joy because when they participate in this kind of things, they kind of build their self-confidence and, you know, education is not all about book work. You need to build their self-esteem and self-confidence. So we are so delighted to develop their passion, to develop their talent in this regard. Wow. So, such a joy to us. When growing up, did you do any other yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I, did. I played football. Wow. I, I played football. I did. Uh, I was in the science, uh, science club. Yeah, things like that. But not dancing and all those keyboard. I'm not very good at it. So, since they have passion for it, kind of encourage them to do, to do it. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have to say to parents who are looking at you and say, wow, I wish my children could do this? Yes, I, I would think to be a parent is a great responsibility. So our advice of parents, you know, a lot of them are already doing that. But our advice, the ones that are not doing, to kind of encourage their children, you know, find out the kind of talent, the giftings they have, and encourage them towards it. It'll kind of build their self-esteem. And you as a parent, you make it very proud. We took our time to be here to watch our children perform. It's such a joy. Such a joy. Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Sonny Bettina. Okay. So what's that passion that made you to be able to... How did you discover that gift in Oh, uh, when she was one year old, uh, she started tiptoeing and walking and if uh, any music is playing, she will be tiptoeing and dancing. And I told my friend, she was in Canada, I said, I don't understand this girl, why is she walking like this? She was like, it's valid she wants to dance. I said, really, so I should look for an academy and register her. So I registered her there and since that's one year and six months, she has been dancing ballet to date. All these years, I have never stopped encouraging her. She has so much passion for this ballet. She has gone so many places with this ballet. She even won last year as Miss Oasis. She has been doing very well. Each time she says, I tell her, you're, you're being naughty, you're not going for your Riaza, she will cry and fall sick. So I want to encourage parents, please follow your children. They have talent in them. Try to help them bring out that talent. Don't kill their dreams. Congratulations to the winner and to everyone that actually participated. I mean, that's an education, that's a learning process. And I hope that those children will learn to hone the skills and become better and better and be winners in the society as well. And that was the Eagle Heights International School. That's the Air High School, one of the foremost institutions in Wari Delta State of Nigeria. Well, that was a great program. Well, moving on now, you do know that we have the fashion segment and that is where we tell you what is new, what is trending and what is in vogue when it comes to fashion in Nigeria and the world at large. Watch what we have for you today. As we ladies know, when it comes to going out for any special event, or when to look fly for work, our dressing says it all. From a cool hairdo to a sassy dress, and finally a fabulous shoe. 
Of course, we all know the shoe just has to be a stiletto, and one of such is a wedge. Yes, that's what we'll be filling you in on today's fashion and style segment, the wedge. Women's shoe designs have really evolved over the years. They're becoming more and more daring and glamorous. The wedge is one of such exciting innovation in ladies' footwear. Unlike the usual stiletto with pencil heels, the wedge has a solid heel that runs under the foot, from the back of the shoe to the middle or front. As far back as 1930s, classy ladies have been stepping out in wedges since it was popularized by the Salvucci Ferragamo designer who introduced the design to the Italian market. But most people believe the wedge design dates back to the ancient Greece. However, the design has become so numerous that we can't possibly keep count. Wet designs rank from elegant shoes to boots and sneakers, and they look great with nearly any length of skirt or dress. You can wear wet with printed tunic, wet with boyfriend jean, wet with denim short, wet sneakers with skirt, wet with a dress, skinny jeans, wet sneakers with shorts. Ranging from a casual elegance, Wedge comes in all styles and heights. While wedge heels are extremely fashionable and versatile, they will look great in everyone or with every outfit. Like any shoe style, they have their pros and cons. Wedge heels are still heels with all their pitfalls. Don't be fooled into thinking you can run a marathon with them. <laughs> wedge can look a little chunky, especially when paired with very tight fitting clothing. Wet heels tend to work best on shoes that are more on the casual side. While there are styles of wedges, finding a truly elegant one can be a bit difficult. Thick wedges heels will make really skinny ankles appear even thinner. Celebrities like Eva Mendes, Annie Dibio, Angelina Jolie, Toke Makiwa, Omotolo Jalade, Julie Roberts and Kim Kardashian and lots more of them have one time or the other worn a wedge shoe to red carpet events. Wet heels make you feel balanced. It gives you a very firm step. It gives you protection and comfort to your feet. It gives you a great appearance. These days, wet shoes has become highly accepted by ladies of all type and size because of the comfort and stylish steps it gives to movement. So when next you think of stepping out, remember to wedge your balance, friend. We've come to the end of today's uh, program. I hope you enjoyed every bit of what you watched today. But do remember to follow us on our social media platform. Always, always get across to us. You have all the information right there on your screen. All right, I thank you for staying with us. Until I come again next week, next time for another episode of the program, I am Chi Chi. Goodbye to you.